Greetings. I'm Professor Venuto, and I'll be providing an overview of EVSP 414 Air Quality Management. Although I do teach this course, I may not be your professor for this term. Detailed information on this course will be provided by your instructor. Air is essential to life. EVSP 414 provides the learner with a thorough examination of the principles and processes that govern our atmosphere. This course is required by certain tracks in the environmental science program, but it is also designed for those who have an interest in learning about air quality. The course covers the sources of air pollutants, how pollutants move through the atmosphere, the impacts to human health, regulatory requirements, and efforts to control air emissions. You also learn about indoor air quality, which is an important topic since most of us spend about 90% of our time indoors. The course outcomes are listed on the left-hand side. Uh, please review these in your syllabus. I will not go over each one of these. However, I will offer some of the more salient portions of these course objectives. Air pollution affects all of us. And upon the successful completion of this course, you will gain an understanding of air quality where you reside, as well as from a global perspective. You know, we all share the resources of air. It's a thin layer that circles the earth and allows life as we know it to exist. We'll discuss how we all contribute to the degradation of air through our daily routine, our activities, whether it's driving a car, using electricity, consuming food, or purchasing merchandise. Air is one of the cornerstones of environmental science. In the 1960s, the air quality had deteriorated in many parts of the world where it arose this, made this awareness and a demand for action to clean up the air. Laws and regulations were passed and implemented. And to address this, the air got cleaner. Now, global climate change from air emissions is uh, presenting a new challenge and new opportunities for environmental professionals. There are not any prerequisites for this course. Like many subjects in environmental science, it is an interdisciplinary topic. It will cover some biology, some chemistry, some earth science, some legal aspects. But please do not let those deter you, as they will be discussed and we'll learn about these within the context of the subject. Learn about the atmosphere, water, and soil, and how pollution can impact these are fundamental framework for aspiring environmental practitioners. I think you will enjoy this course and its relevance to your life. Thank you and good luck with the course.